Passengers, the captain has informed me we are about to begin our descent into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Please prepare for landing. Game rituals getting loose well before we're underway. The Mavericks look to take charge at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, and we're going to bring it to you live. Now, a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. And, guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Monte Ellis in this one? Well, Ellis is one of the most acrobatic finishers in the NBA, Kevin. His ability to race in from the perimeter and score, either in transition or against a half court defense. He finds his way to the rim and he can finish once he gets there. And he's shown the ability of absorbing contact, hanging, and still finishing. I think he could even stand to be more aggressive 
looking for contact, Steve, just to up those free throw attempts. But regardless, a devastating score around the rim. With the Denver Nuggets, they won their last contest that game against the Pistons. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. Tough matchup here for the machine. He's facing off against Dirk Nowitzki, and the big German is perhaps the best shooting big man in the league. He can shoot with range out to the three-point line, and the high release is a very tough shot, not only to block, but to challenge. So let's see how he deals with Dirk today. Now here's Ellis. After the miss from Wolf, tries from 16. Here's Dellenbear, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Well, his free throw numbers this year are below 70%. So we, when he's getting to the line, he has not been effective. And, guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. The first one falls. Gallon Bear, two free throws. Looking at Dallas, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And what stands out from that game, Clark, is that they let a lot of points slip through their fingers at the free throw line. Yep, and I think some doubt started to creep in as well when they kept missing their foul shots. Guys seem to tighten up and start alligator arming those things. Now, here's Hickson. Pass to Lawson. Down to five on the shot clock. Robinson for three. That one falls. Coming off Lawson's feet. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Denver on D. Last time they met was in Denver. Yeah, they really had their number in that game. Big margin of victory for them. They got there by really including their bench. The depth became a major factor. They, they just wore them down. Shot is blocked. On the wing, Chandler. Guarded by Harris. Chandler's shot. Good. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can knock those down all game given a chance. Here's Harris. Really struggled in the loss against Minnesota. What Steve just talked about regarding how much they spread their scoring around was probably the most striking thing about that big win. And the fact that they did have such a huge lead allowed them to even use their bench a little more than normal. And that was something that um, served them well. Could be the first of many mid-range jump shots we see from him today. Robinson kicks to Lawson. Pass to Chandler. Back to Lawson. Out of bounds. Dallas will take possession. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Kevin, I had a chance to talk to head coach Rick Carlisle. He said that they'd be focusing a lot of their defensive energies on containing Ty Lawson, especially in transition. He added, Lawson is one of the fastest players in the league. So if you let him get out and run, you are putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. We've got to keep him in the half court and limit his penetration. Guys? All right, Doris, thanks. Here's Robinson after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. Lawson right side. Chandler outside. Kicks it to Robinson. Just five on the clock. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. This last summer, the Mavs asked fans to submit some redesigns of their uniforms for future use. Always kind of neat to see when a team and organization reaches out for the fans' input. And 
and that one misses. And back to the Mavs, definitely a big move by them to reach out like that. Nothing like bringing crowdsourcing to the <laughs> NBA and building a bridge, you know, Steve, with your fan base. You know, Kevin, I had a chance to see some of the designs uh, of the uniforms that were being suggested. Some pretty sharp-looking duds, but there were some other ones that were absolutely hideous. So <laughs> let's hope the decision-makers in the Mavs organization pick some of the... Uh, Let's say the more clean looking new uniform suggestions. Now here is Harris averaging 12 points a game. D'Alembert sets a screen for Ellis. He feeds it to D'Alembert. Back to Ellis. Dallas needs to get off a shot. That's good. Six points for Nowitzki. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. Nuggets are gone. Two or three here to start off the game. Lawson kicks to Robinson. And there's the pass to Chandler. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out west. The season nearly complete. You look at Denver. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, Dallas. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Looking at the Nuggets, they've been just as tough as everybody expected coming into this season. I mean, one of the teams with a legit chance, in my mind, to win it all. Man, with the playoffs rapidly approaching, Clark, I mean, this is what you work all season for. They've got to be excited and prepared for the challenge. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Lawson kicks to Chin. Back to Lawson. Passes to Wolf. That one falls. Coming off Lawson's feet. The machine's got his first points of the night. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. Stolen by Robinson. Pass to Wolf. 14 feet away. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Really did a nice job recognizing the mismatch that he had and uh, immediately cashing in with that mid-range jumper. Harris against Lawson. And it's Harris off the drive. Marion outside. Six on the shot clock. Dishes it to Ellis. Here's Dallenbear, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And now a quick look at some very potent men in the middle lately. Highest scoring big men in the past 10 games. Look at the machine leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And, of course, Dirk Nowitzki a little bit down the ladder. The Nuggets have gotten only one of their first six shots to fall today. Robinson kicks to Chandler. And it's rejected. And there's the feed to Ellis. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Checking out some numbers for Ty Lawson. Well, since the All-Star break, he's been doing some nice work. Averaging about 15 points, 7 assists, and 3 rebounds. If it was an average player putting up those numbers, we'd say they were spectacular. Yeah, but and for how, him, simply run of the mill. And how much does that tell you about the talent he has? I mean, when the spectacular passes is average, that speaks volumes. You know, passing the ball well on the perimeter has really opened things up offensively for this club. Steve, it makes the game easy. I mean, 10 straight points off assist, that's impressive, but it's easy when you move the ball. Here's Chandler. That is in there. Watson with the assist. Chandler's got his second bucket of the game to go. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Nuggets. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Well, the other thing I like is defensively, they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. Here's Dallin Bear. Wilson Chandler making his last shot. Shot clock at six. The Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Easy 
That free throw, no good. Mozgov, he's checked in for Denver. And he sinks the second. The Nuggets leading by five. Robinson kicks to Lawson. To the paint. Wolf passes to Mozgov. That's good. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. Dewan Blair, he's checked in for D'Alembert. The Mavericks have gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey guys, well Brian Shaw had some advice for the team over that last break. He clearly thinks they have a speed advantage because he told his players that the objective every time they get the ball is to get out and run. He wants to see plenty of transition. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Here's the machine. He's coming off a 22-point game against Detroit. And you can't talk about his performance without mentioning his superior shot blocking in that game, really imposing his will. Mavericks trail by 10. And here is Ellis. 23 points for him the last game against Minnesota. Here's Crowder. Misses the three. Boy, oh, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Chandler kicks to Lawson. Lawson gets the screen from Moscow. Out to Chandler. Lawson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Steps back and fires. Cannot hit. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Oh, and here we go. Ellis has got it. The fast break chance. Marion outside to the paint. Here's Crowder. Makes it off the glass. Crowder's got his first two points of the night. And the action on hold as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. Yeah, from the look on his face, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, it sure looks that way. He's, he's going to come out of the game right now and get that thing checked out. For the Nuggets, Darrell Arthur. He's checked in for the machine. Fournier comes in for Wilson Chandler. Marion and Nowitzki at the forwards. Devin Harris is out there with Ellis, and it's Blair in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Nice shot by four. You know, offensively, he's just one of those guys that needs a, a, a touch of space to get his shot up. That's all. And if he runs his man off a screen or somehow finds an opening, uh, that's it. He's going to let that thing go. And, Steve, it's also really remarkable what a solid shooter he is, even in the presence of tough, sticky defense. He smoothly and calmly executes. Okay, time now for an injury report. And let's get an update on Ty Lawson's injury with our Doris Burke. Kev, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Denver. He told me that it doesn't look too serious. If he were to miss some time, it would be a very tough loss for his team down the final stretch of this season. They're hoping that doesn't happen, guys. Thank you, Doris, for the update. We appreciate it, and we really hope for the best, as always. Well, knowing him, Kevin, I'll bet he can put it behind him as quickly as possible. Let's hope so, Steve. I know everybody's looking forward to seeing him back out there. And it's Harris off the drive, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, pretty average numbers for him from the foul line, shooting about 75%. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. Knocks it loose. Outside for Robinson. The pass to Wolf. 
into J.J. Hickson, and he gets it to go. Hickson's got his second bucket of the night. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividends. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Ellis can't get it to go. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. Well, Monte Ellis has never been short on confidence, and last year he went as far as comparing himself to Dwayne Wade, saying the only difference between them is that Wade has rings. That's a pretty big difference, though. And the Nuggets making a change here. Hamilton's checked in. Passes it to Wolf from 11 feet away. And again, it's Denver. And you talk about the talent and confidence for Monte Ellis. Steve, what's the balance between confidence and, and like, overconfidence? Well, I think the balance is in your decision-making, and that's the trickiest thing for really talented young players to figure out. It's just when to attack and when to back off a little bit. And that's all stuff that just comes with experience. Marion dishes to Ellis. Harris outside. Back to Ellis. In low to Dallenberg. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Gallenberg has got seven. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Here's Chandler. Denver gets it back. Mavericks trailed by 13. Ellis with it. Now guarded by Hickson and stolen by Hamilton. And now here's Hamilton, the fast break chance. And as we take a look here, the all-time career leaders in steals, some of the great guards to ever play the game of basketball. John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Michael Jordan, Gary Payton is also up there. I call these guys two-way players, impact players at both ends of the floor. Free throw, no good. Mavericks making a switch here. Arkins checked in. He doesn't get the second one, and he gets the bucket. Ten points for the machine. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Dallas calls timeout. He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go through a shooting drought. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free throw line. You know, all teams go cold at points during the game, but the good teams still find ways to score. Here's Larkin, guarded by Robinson, and he gets the bucket. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on him. Denver leading by 13. Feeds it to Hamilton. Shoots the three. And D'Alembert pulls it down. The Mavericks shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. Here's Ellis, rejected by Wolf, and they'll keep possession. Good! Harris has got his second basket of the game. And Denver has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the wing right side. Out to Chandler. No good on the three. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. And it's Harris off the drive. Pass to Larkin. Chandler with the steal. It's three on three on the fast break. There's the pass to Wolf. Kick out to Hamilton. Here's the three. They get the rebound. Hickson 
And he gets it to go. Hickson's got his third basket of the night right there. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Harris against Hamilton. Harris passes to Larkin. Rebound by Wolf. The Machine's got six rebounds in the game. He kicks to Robinson. Takes it from 10. Nice D from Larkin. And another, once again, shot good from Hickson. Hickson's got eight points in the quarter. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. Larkin kicks to Ellis. It's intercepted. And pushing it up, here's Denver. Robinson leading the charge. And the shot is good. And 12 points for the machine. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He could be in for one of those games. And so it's Dallas with him. 17 point game. In low to Ellis. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Oh man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. And a look at the top three point shooting small forwards this season in the NBA. Every wingman should have that shot in his arsenal, and these guys certainly do. Wilson Chandler, number one. And his range is about as long as it gets. And you'd better have someone on him as soon as he gets across half court, or he'll drop a bomb on you. As much effort as he expends to get into space on the perimeter and as well as he shoots it, when he does get open, opponents may want to give him a little extra attention out there. I mean, you've got to know where he is. One guy on him might not be enough. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Hi, guys. The Machine in their last game against the Pistons did some really solid work on the floor. He finished with 22 points, and as usual, he was found patrolling the defensive end of the court, knocking back shots with great regularity. A game like this just illustrates the success this team has enjoyed this season. What a special year, guys. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. Hamilton, the pass to Wolf. the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Flush that thing down, young fella. That is a fierce <laughs> two-handed. Man, maximum force on that dunk. Mavericks trailed by 17. Larkin kicks to Mary. Passes it to Larkin. In low to Dallenberg. And that one's good. D'Alembert has got four points in the quarter. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Robinson dishes to Hickson. Hamilton outside. Here's the machine, guarded by Marion. And again, shot good from Wolf. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. And they get it back. Nice shot by D'Alembert. The Nuggets leading by 15. Pass to Wolf. Picks in a screen on Marion. Chandler outside. Here's Hamilton. Sinks the three-pointer. Hamilton's got his first three points of the game. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. D'Alembert with a screen on Robinson. Larkin, the pass to D'Alembert. Banked in off the glass. D'Alembert's got 13. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Here's the pass to Wolf. He dishes it to Chandler. Shot clock at six. Off the screen. Another shot. And there's the bucket on the layup from Wolf. He's got 18. Well, he's so dangerous on the offensive glass. You know, 
Well, Clark, what's your expression for it? A glass eater? That's right. You got it, Steve. A go-and-get-it specialist is another way to look at it. He follows every shot, never assumes it's going in. The Mavericks have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. And he can't get the first one. Really an extraordinary game for D'Alembert. He's got 13 points, and he's contributed three points from the line, too. Yeah, those are always easy points. I mean, when you can get to the line and knock them down, uh, sometimes that's that's the difference in the game, Clark. Denver making a switch here. Mozgov, he's checked in for Hickson. Arthur comes in for the machine. Quincy Miller's checked in for Wilson Chandler. And Fournier's... And so that's the end of the first half. Nuggets lead by 13. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Nate, as always, you play with such tremendous energy. What is your source of motivation each time you come out on the floor? Uh, I mean, for me, I never give up on the play. I'm going to play with energy. I'm just trying to get the win. Uh, I'm going to hustle. I'm going to do everything it takes to get the job done. Nate, as always, we love watching you play. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Doris, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back in there for the start of the third quarter after this break. Now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for being with us here on 2K Sports. Every day, the playoff picture is becoming more clear. The Nuggets on a tear right now. And if you like scoring, you love their first half of basketball. They're putting up points, doing it rapidly in a variety of ways. It's hard to slow them down. The machine has had himself an amazing start. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. On the other side, the Mavericks haven't been hot. Recent games, they've been on a cold streak, and this one hasn't been any easier. Some terrific basketball from Samuel Dellenberg. He scored 16 points and has been very efficient, converting his shots into points with a nice field goal percentage. That'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Thanks so much. I'm Damon Bruce. Now let's get back out to Kevin Harlan for the second half of play. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Really an incredible game from the machine. Boy, his rebounding was superb in that first half, particularly at the offensive end where he's really battling. And that continually allowed them to get two quality shots on the same possession, Steve. That's invaluable. Taking a look at the Nuggets, Wolf in at the four spot. Nate Robinson is out there with four. Then it's Moskov, and it's Chandler in at the small forward. Novitsky, good. Cool. He's such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Ellis against Robinson. Now, here is four. He's guarded close. Passes it to Wolf. That's good. The machine's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nuggets. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Harris outside. The dish to D'Alembert. Now here's Marion, covered by Foy. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. First one falls. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Mozgov. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Robinson kicks to Hickson. Pass to Wolf. <laughs> wow, that was 
is unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. Maverick's trailed by 13. Harris outside. Rejected by Wolf. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. Foy's got seven points. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Dallas shooting well. They're at 45 percent. Harris outside. Pass to Ellis. Kicks to Dallin Bear. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Free throw good from Dallin Bear. Mozgov, he's checked in for Denver. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Nuggets leading by 14. Outside Robinson. He feeds it to Mozgov. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. It's his first trip to the line. Well, he rarely misses from the line. He's at 87% on the year. So as a team, you, you love to have him on the strike. And I'll tell you guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. That's good for Mozgov. Free throws good from Mozgov. And so here is Dallas. They trail by 16. Dishes it through Ellis. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Nine points for Monte Ellis. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. And there's the pass to Wolf. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And it's blocked by Dallenberg. Now here is Harris. He's guarded by Mozgov. Dallenberg dishes to Ellis. Ellis right side. On the wing, Mary. Guarded by Robinson. And it's Harris off the drive. And it's Denver with the rebound. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert it. He's got to take that every time. Robinson passes to Chandler. The feed to four. Here's the machine. He's got 22. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. And a look at the top single season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elites of the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat kind of juxtaposed with the old school legends, but you know, the, the rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Dallas calls timeout. One guy has been getting it done is the machine. 
You need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey guys, well Brian Shaw had some advice for the team over that last break. He outlined a new set of priorities for them. The main one being to attack the basket at every opportunity. He also talked about their perimeter defense. He does not want to see anyone getting easy outside opportunities. He wants their defense to blanket those outside shooters. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. To the middle, here's Mozgov. Here's Wolf, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Mavericks trail by 16. Ellis outside. It's tipped. Stolen by Robinson. Now running up the court. Robinson pushing it up. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got three rebounds now in this one. Kicks it out to Ellis. Uncovered. He squares up and sinks it. Ellis has got 11 points. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. And Denver has possession. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Robinson passes to Wolf. It's rebounded by Dallas. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. Feeds to Dallenbear. There's the three. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Harris. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Here's the machine. 26 points for him. Down low, Mozgov. And that one's good. Mozgov's got nine points. Now Harris, seven points in the game. He kicks it to Nowitzki. Back to Harris. Nowitzki sets a screen for Harris. 14 feet away and misses it off the right side of the rim. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Pass to Wolf. And it's Denver scoring again. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Harris with it. Averaging 12 points a game. He dishes it to Nowitzki. Ellis against Robinson. Six to shoot. Shoots from the baseline. Ellis, that's good. Ellis has got 13. The Nuggets leading by 13. Robinson passes to Wolf. Here's Mozgov. Nine points in the game so far. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. And taken away by Ellis. Oh, and here we go. Ellis has got it. The fast break chance. And it's Mary. That time on the assist for Monte Ellis. Ellis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Denver's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Pass to Wolf. On the wing, and again, it's Denver. They've done a lot of good work with the ball, really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get them. I mean, they're hitting their shots. Got that one up quick. dallenbear has got 19 points. Nuggets have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Out to the right wing. Here's Mozgov, Dallin Bear covering. Mozgov passes to Wolf. Just five on the clock. There's the dish to Mozgov. Outside Robinson, 
Takes a three. That's good. Robinson's got 12. Yeah, and he had to get that shot off quickly because uh, the defense was all over. Yeah, that's the key, Steve, the quick trigger. Any hesitation, and that shot gets blocked. Well, you know what? When you look at Nate Robinson, guys, you could make the case or even argue that the last few seasons, he's been a bargain basement deal. I mean, he's been very productive, and he's been playing on single season veteran minimum contracts. I mean, he's provided a lot of value for what he's been paid. But after a big performance for the Bulls in the playoffs, One fourteen left in the third quarter. Here's Larkin. He's guarded by Fournier. The drive by Nowitzki. The pass to Larkin. Denver grabs the miss. And you know Nate Robinson could always score and shoot from outside, but he's definitely improved as a playmaker. That's a great point, Kevin. When he first came into the league, he was basically a shooting guard in a five-nine frame. Uh, but he's improved his passing, he's improved his understanding of, of how to run a team. Still not really a point guard, but I think he can play the position for brief spells. And we'd you know, be remiss if we didn't mention a three-time NBA All-Star Saturday Night Dunk right. Championship. Yep. The Nuggets shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And they're right around 74% as a team from the free throw line to this point of the season. And they've made progress in that department from last season. Going into this one, guys, I mean, the numbers have improved. Nowitzki. A.J. Hickson pulls it in. Hickson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Fournier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Fournier's got four points in the quarter. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Here's Nowitzki. Good. Nowitzki's got 12 in the game. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Pass to Fournier. On the wing, Chandler. Goes up to the stripe. And again, it's Denver. You know, I'd like to see more of that from him. He's been passing up his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones he takes. He's got to be more aggressive. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Denver on top, just dominating this one. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, let's do it. I, I love the way this play developed. He took what looked like a difficult pass and turned it into an easy basket. Marion and Nowitzki at the forwards. Larkin out there with Devin Harris. And it's D'Alembert in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Wolf passes to Chandler. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Nuggets. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've gotten. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second chance opportunities just as a result of playing hard. And he makes the first. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half, it's been nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer their perfection continues. Randy Foy, he's checked in for the Nuggets. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Harris. Kicks it to D'Alembert. Marion outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Harris. Come on, Rams, get on your feet. Now, here is four. Here's Chandler. Robinson left side. 
And Samuel D'Alembert picks up a foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. He just picked up his fourth personal foul, and now he's got some foul trouble hanging over his head, guys. And the Nuggets making a change here. Fournier is checked in. Passes it to Wolf. Got a piece of it. Nowitzki with the steal. And the basket by Harris. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. Keep it going with a little defense. Inside. Here's the machine defended by Nowitzki. They've built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. Harris kicks to Nowitzki. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. That's good. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Denver leading by 20. Robinson dishes to Hickson. Here's the machine defended by Nowitzki. Rocket six. Wolf passes to Hickson. Went to go with the three. Denver the rebound. And again it will fall. That's a good there from Wolf. The machine's got 37. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Harris kicks to Mary. Pass to Larkin. Denver grabs the miss. Fournier's got his third rebound on the night. Robinson, that's good. Well, they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Boy, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. Larkin, the pass to Nowitzki. Foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, there are a lot of players in the history of the NBA that have had a signature shot or move, and Dirk is right in that group. You know, when he gets into that fall away where he's leaning back and gets his knee into the defender a little bit, that clearly is his patented and trademark shot. And he knocks down the first one. And that, I, I heard a scout call it the other day, a flamingo fadeaway of Dirk Nowitzki's. We've all seen it before. He didn't have that when he first came in the league, did he? No, he was more of a face-up guy. And, you know, I, I think he had to adjust to NBA defenders, the, the speed and the length. And so rather than, you know, just shoot those spot-up shots, he started going to that, what I call the lederhosen fall away. <laughs> <laughs> And so Nowitzki throws both of them. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Fournier dishes to Robinson. To the middle. And again the basket from Wolf. The machine's got 39. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Harris gets the screen from D'Alembert. And it's Harris off the drive. Pulls it up, and the shot is good from Nowitzki. He's so dominant in the low post. You, you just can't let him get the ball in there so tight. Too easy. It was really simple for him to go to work there. Robinson passes to Wolf. He feeds it to Chandler. And again, another one in from Wolf. The machine's got 41. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. They've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Shot is no good. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. Wolf passes to Hickson. 
Goes up and lays it nice and easy. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but they're cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that. Ellis against Robinson. And good on the basket. Book it. 15 points for Monte Ellis. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half, but since the break, he's been on target. And the pass to Wolf. And he gets the bucket. The machine's got 43 points. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Here's Nowitzki. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Nowitzki's got 20. He is just so good from that range, guys. You know, never mind with the height advantage he had there. Robinson, soft touch off the glass. They are owning the lane right now. Every one of their last 10 points has come either at or near the rim. Great looks in tight because they're finding lanes to the hoop whenever they want them. Harris kicks to Nowitzki. This is to Dallin Bear. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Hickson, and so he's picked up his final foul. Okay. And he will sit for the rest of this game. First one falls for him. This is what they need to do in the second half to come out with the win. It's not the only thing, but when you convert free throws at the other end, you put a lot of pressure on the opponent to play solid defense against you. No good on the second free throw. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboards. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. Let's see what the Dallas Mavericks have coming up. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. A lot of interesting stuff going on around the league, and I'll tell you, the, the game I have my eye on is the Clipper matchup. That should be a good one. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Harris kicks to Ellis. Jacks up a three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got four assists now tonight. The Nuggets leading by 22. Fournier passes to Wolf. The feed now to Hickson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Hickson's got four this quarter. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job, they are inside. It takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Here's Nowitzki. Plays it up and banks it in. Nowitzki's got 16 here in the second half. And he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Robinson kicks to Hickson. Passes it to Wolf. Feeds it to Fournier. Six to shoot. The shot's good from Wolf. The machine's got 45 points. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. For Dallas, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Ellis against Robinson. And it's Ellis penetrating. And good on the basket. Look it. Ellis has got 20 points. Good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. They set the pick and the foul on Monte Ellis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so here's Denver. Here's the machine. Deep two from Robinson. And it's Denver scoring again.
Dallas has gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Harris with it. Now defended by Fournier. Stolen away. The Mavericks with the ball. Nowitzki dishes to Harris. He kicks to Ellis. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Ellis has got nine points now in the quarter. You know, the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. I don't think you can say enough about the quarter he's having. Every one of his attempts has gone down. Now here is Harris. Tight defense on him. Nowitzki, the pass to Marion. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Ellis penetrating. Here's Dallembert. Great tee that time from Hickson. Such a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Here's Wolf, and he banks in the layup. The machine's got 47 points. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Ellis kicks to Nowitzki. Marion outside. Back to Nowitzki. Nice D from Wolf. Denver's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Robinson dishes to Fournier. Pass to Wolf. Kicks it to Hickson. No good. Great D that time from Dallenberg. The Maverick shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Ellis, the pass to Dallenberg. Back to Ellis. He dishes it to Harris. Pass to Nowitzki. Dallas moving it around. A shot by Marion, no good. Well, he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. Robinson down low. He's guarded by Ellis. Wolf passes to Hickson. To the inside. And there it is again from him. Shot good from Wolf. The machine's got 49 points in the game. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. 131 left in the fourth. Ellis kicks to Mary. Now the dish to Nowitzki. Picked away. And pushing it up, here's Denver. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Denver. And Clark, we got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Well, basket after basket, they were in attack mode all game long. And for the year now, they'll have 52 wins under the belt. And in this season finale, between these two teams, they sealed the deal making smart adjustments along the way to finish out the year with an impressive three and one record against the Mavericks. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for the machine. Every time he shot it seemed like it was just going to drop in and nobody was surprised. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Here's Larkin. He feeds it to Ellington, trying to get back on track, and he gets it to go. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. But I get shooting a scorching 68% in the game. Hamilton, the pass to Wolf, lays it up and in off the pretty assist. The machine's got 51. This is going to be a great game for them. No win on the road comes easy in the NBA. Nice performance. Any player loves sending his own fans home happy. Loves even more sending opposing fans home miserable. Denver's gotten the three point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. That's in coming off an assist from Miller.
53 points for the machine. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. And the shot's good from Crowder. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing margin a little more respectable. Miller outside. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Nate, congratulations on this win, and one couldn't help but notice how aggressive you were at imposing your will on the game, and you seem to really set the tone for your team. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those type of players that just really just, I mean, I just, I just play as hard as I can. I'm a competitor. No matter how big, how small a guy is, I'm not backing down you know, to anybody. So for us and my team, I mean, we just, we just really play as hard as we can, and, uh, and they follow my lead. Nate, great job. Guys, this guy has plenty of heart. Thank you, Doris, for that. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time as we present our Jordan player of the game, The Machine. You amassed 53 points tonight. That was an incredible scoring display that we just witnessed. Would you say that this is one of your definitive moments as a pro? Uh, I think it wasn't so much a definitive moment for me as it was one for the team. We've put in a lot of work and it all came together for us here. I think we'll be able to look back at this game and see a lot of things we did right and try to improve upon our games from there. The points I had were nice and maybe someday I'll be able to look back and smile, but right now I'm just happy with how we were playing as a team, man.